Greetings, fellow fans, subscribers, and fellow travelers. <laughs> Alright, I have a new friend I would like you to meet. Her name is Willow Squeaky. She hails from the realm of Folk Manus, much like her peasants or musket. However, unfortunately, a dragon known simply as Retired came in and wiped out most of that side of her kinfolk. There are a few brave pirate souls who can be found roaming the port of eBay, and some braver still who actually reside now in the country known as Amazon. You can find anything from A to Z. <laughs> yeah. Yes. I invited her to live with me so that she can continue to travel, because unfortunately, folk manus folk are enabled to unable and incapable of doing things without an invitation. They can't move without being invited. Which is rather sad, but it makes sense. In their country, they don't like to do things without being invited to do so. That way, they don't offend on anyone, step on anyone's toes, or cause any problems. Which is rather sweet. <laughs> she has chosen the wonderful portal of YouTube to speak with you all, or rather, interact. He's a little bit nervous and shy to do so because Mr. Captain Fuzzy Nuts unfortunately did try to eat her, which sucks. But I rescued her before he could do any damage. So she will not be speaking with you all as of right now, and unfortunately for the foreseeable future, she probably won't be speaking. She will interact with you all, and she may wave or get a little excited. But she does not have a voice as of yet because she's a little bit nervous to speak. Now, some things to know about Willow Squeaky, and also some nice things you should know about her, uh, about her and her story. So, first of all, she hail as I've mentioned before. She hails from the lands of Folk Manus. Her other kinfolk were wiped out by the dragon retired, and of course, there's the some you can find on eBay and Amazon. Uh, she has a cousin who uses the magical portal of TikTok to speak to people and spread whimsy, chicanery, and all-around happiness. Whose name is Mousekid, and he is very wholesome, and he is our favorite. And, also, in addition to that, much like her cousin Sir Mouse, she actually has attention deficit hay donuts because she's very distracted. She gets distracted easily, which is part of the reason she hasn't actually come up to say hello. Now, now, say hello, Willow. Oh, she's actually distracted again. Yes, she's left. She's going to get something. I don't know what she's going to go get. But regardless, she's my sweet little mouse friend. <laughs> and right now, oh, she's brought me something. It is a pencil sharpener. <laughs> I bought these recently uh, at Walmart. They are actually part of a pack you get for Valentine's Day goodie bags. Uh, but I bought it because I needed a pencil sharpener. They didn't have regular ones. And these are good, though, because that means I can use them, you know, have multiples in case I lose one. I was able to share one with uh, Mama Skunk, and also not just that, they are the perfect. Oh, they are the perfect size for Willow Squeaky to hold. Mm -hmm. Oh look, she's going to grab another one, even though she doesn't need it. But okay, oh, she was going to grab it. Yes, yes, she did grab it. Yes. We have the teal heart, which I like. He's cute. And I think he's gone to grab. Yes. And there's also a red heart, which she likes the best. She's Oh dear. <laughs> Willow, be, be careful. This has a sharp blade. Oh, she's embarrassed now. It's okay, sweetie. All better. Hmm. Okay. Let's try this again, Willow. <laughs> right. She has a nice little red heart. And she's giving this little red heart to all of our fans, subscribers, because we do have some fans that aren't subscribed. And uh, speaking of which, if you aren't subscribed and you enjoy this content, uh, please subscribe. Uh, subscribing actually helps us out a lot. 
I always thought I was not going to be the YouTuber that said and did this, but then I realized it's not that we want to say that stuff, it's because we have to. We don't have a choice. YouTube basically forces us to do this. So, she wants to give this to her friends, her fans, her subscribers, and this one especially goes out to her cousin, Sir Muscat. Ta-da! <laughs> yes! Ta-da! And she's blowing kisses to the entirety, the entirety of everyone, of the subscribers. Ta -da. Oh, and she's got her cute, but before she does, look at her cute little feet. Yes, he's my sweet little mousy friend. Ta -da. <laughs> she's blowing kisses. But well, the best she can blow kisses. She's been, she's had a long journey to get here. <laughs> so, Willow Squeaky and I want to invite you to join us on some further adventures. She probably will not be adventuring with me every single time. Uh, there may be some out of the, out of the house adventures. Maybe, maybe not. I don't know yet. It really just depends. One day I might take Willow Squeaky to the park because the, that actually just might be some fun. And as you see, she's not wearing any clothes because she doesn't want to. She doesn't like clothes. Not yet. We haven't found anything that's comfortable for her because she's very sensitive. She also happens to be on the spectrum in addition to her attention deficit. Hey, donuts. Oh, and I think she thought there were donuts. No donuts, sweetie. There aren't any donuts. Oh, I know. You can't eat donuts anyway. <laughs> yes, so this is Willow Squeaky. She has come by simply to say hello. Um, and we wanted to let you all know that there will be some wonderful content, not only involving Willow Squeaky here, but also um, the Thomas stories. Um, Iron Zebra should be working on those, hopefully. Uh, he was going to work on them one weekend, but he got, I think, the flu, so he wasn't able to work on it. Um, and also, he's been busy with school. So as soon as he gets time, he will film them. And don't worry, I will make sure that they do get filmed. Uh, yeah, I will make sure they get recorded as soon as possible. Because every once in a while, I will ask him about it to make sure that uh, we don't have any... That it's not something that he wants to give up on. Because we would hate to lose our friendly neighborhood Iron Zebra. Or should I say... Yes, our friendly neighborhood Iron Zebra. We don't want to lose him, do we, Willow? Do we love him? Is he the bestest best friend in the whole wide universe? Is he amazing? Of course he is. And you know who else is? Sir Mosket. Oh look, she's all excited because we're talking about the, the one of the greatest things on TikTok. <laughs> yes, she gets really excited when we talk about her cousin because he is actually great and amazing. I found him by, uh, I discovered him by accident and I'm kind of glad that I did because he is actually very wholesome. <laughs> My, he has a lot of things that I like, like the potato song. Actually, do you think you think we could sing the potato song now, Willow Squeaky? You think you want to dance along with me? Because I know you can't sing at the moment because you're still too nervous around Captain Fuzzy Nuts to really speak. So, how about you dance along while I sing? <laughs> potato, 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 the red, the white, the brown, they get that way underground, they have not much to do, so now we have blue ones too. We don't care what they look like, we'll eat them, any way they can fit on our plate, any way we can hazard to eat them, but I don't think they're just great. Potato, potato, potato. Potato, 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 Sometimes we ditch the skin to eat what they're hiding in. Sometimes we'd rather please have dusty outsides with cheese. Whoop. They have eyes, but they do not have faces. We don't know if their feelings get hurt. 
as they only can live in dark places, since they only can look at the dirt. Potato, 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 You liked that, didn't you? <laughs> yes, she likes that. Actually, we both like that. <laughs> yes, we both love when he, when her, her cousin sings the potato song. It's really awesome. In addition to poking holes in potatoes, making sure they don't explode. Poking holes in potatoes, poking holes in potatoes. <laughs> she likes that too. So do I, because it's funny. He's funny. Okay, so yes, um, hopefully one day there might be the option for a type of collab thingy something. I don't know. I doubt it, but it's probably not going to happen. But yes, she loves being able to share whimsy and chicanery. Actually, one day I might get out my, my jar of paper boats. And actually, I should backtrack about the paper boats. I have an entire Maxwell House can full of little tiny paper boats. And the reason I started making the paper boats is because of Kazoo the Clown, who's also another TikToker, clown TikToker person that I found by accident that I enjoy watching. <laughs> um, and uh, I used her video and learned how to make paper boats. And I'm actually going to teach you all how to make paper boats. Because I could just say go watch her video. But no, I will teach you and so what, and lovely Willow Squeaky wants to teach you how to make paper boats as well. Um, but uh, that will have to be another video because we'll have to figure out what exactly, what the best paper to use for our paper boat tutorial will be. Because I have lots of different types of paper available to me. Oh, Mr. Fuzzy is saying hi. Well done. Yeah. Will those squeaky brave the brave Captain Fuzzy Nuts? She's still a little afraid of him, but I got her to pet him just so he'd, he'd feel a little bit less afraid. Because Mr. Captain isn't mean on purpose. <laughs> and speaking of Kazoo, I just got a notification. She's gone live. Um, which is actually awesome. Uh, unfortunately, I have things to do, so I will not be attending the live stream because I'm currently busy uh, talking to you guys. And also, I do have other things I have to get done. So unfortunately, I will have to be leaving soon. Uh, but Willow Squeaky wants to make sure that you um, subscribe to not only our channel, mm -hmm. uh, subscribe to Summer Scott here, and on TikTok, or rather follow on TikTok, I should say, because subscribe means something totally different on TikTok. Uh, follow him on TikTok. Uh, subscribe to us. And whatever you, oh, and his YouTube channel, because he does have one. Even though that magical portal is currently experiencing technical difficulties. Because a few of his friends are being uncooperative and don't particularly want to YouTube. Because they don't like the ability to have a long format. They're not very fond of having to spend long hours doing things. They like the short form format of TikTok better, don't they? Like Ermine, I think it is. I think he's like a fae of some sort. Ermine, from what I've seen, seems to be very picky and very much a diva. <laughs> I mean, some else is as well, but he's more of a fun kind of diva, whereas Ermine seems to not want to pay attention and do what he's told. I don't have that on good authority. It just look That's what it just looks like to me and Willow Squeaky. Well, I would actually have to want to ask her cousin that, but she knows that, unfortunately, he's busy fighting dragons. And actually, if I remember correctly, from what she's told me, he is attempting to fight the dragon known as Retired, so that the rest of her family does not actually have to leave Folk Manus, unless they choose to leave Folk Manus. And hopefully, he does beat Retired, because Willow Squeaky here, would hate to lose the rest of her family to retired the way she had to lose her cousin and hit that side of her kinfolk. It's very sad when the dragon comes to take them. But unfortunately, Folkmanus only has so much space. And 
the dragon known as retired likes to steal them because they can't move without being invited to do so. Isn't that right? So the dragon known as retired is very dangerous and very much likes to creep up on them because they can't move without being re being invited to move. Therefore, they're easy targets and good food and a good snack. Oh, don't worry. Don't worry, Willow. I wouldn't... I don't mean you. I've invited you to move, so you can move and do what you please. <laughs> yes, so we will see you in the next video. Uh, Willow Squeaky has something she wants to do. She wants to say bye-bye. She is saying goodbye. Oh, also, a quick little thing, and she's... Uh, in a, before we do leave, in addition to the uh, attention deficit hay donuts and her being on the spectrum, when she's nervous, she sometimes holds her tail, and if she's extremely nervous, which it only happened once, and that was yesterday, because there, because my friend who rescued her and uh, asked me if I would keep her safe, uh, who goes by World of Mr. Davis here on YouTube, uh, so I actually rescued her at work, uh, and it was a little bit loud, and she got super nervous, so she ended up chewing on her tail. Uh, she only does that when she's extremely afraid, which does not happen very often, because thankfully she knows she can be brave because she has her person to look up to. Mm. Bye -bye. Mm. Oh, bye-bye. Uh, I will see you guys in the next video. Uh, Willow Squeaky may or may not be in the next video. I make no promises because, as I've said, she is a little bit afraid and doesn't really know whether she wants to join us often or she just wants to be a once-in-a-while visitor. But I will try to coax her into visiting more often because she is very sweet, very kind, and also I know Willow Squeaky would make lots of people happy. So, bye-bye. You can't turn the camera off. I have to do it. Oh, I guess she wants to try. She's determined as ever to turn this off. Unfortunately, she can't because she doesn't really have opposable thumbs. So I'll have to do it.